Good morning, Honors Chemistry students. Today I would like to review with you problem number seven of your chemical quantities assignment, which requires you to calculate the number of oxygen atoms in 25 grams of calcium carbonate. At issue is, you are given a mass of calcium carbonate, which is an ionically bonded substance, and you're going to have to convert grams of calcium carbonate to number of oxygen atoms. That looks a little bit daunting, but I think that you'll find it's a problem that we can handle in a pretty straightforward way by using the known unknown solution style of problem solving. So let's get after this and look at what pieces of information we've been given and need to know and what information do we need to find, which goes in the unknown section. Clearly, you're being asked to calculate the number of atoms of oxygen and atoms of oxygen. That unit seems redundant, but it is what it is because atoms are accounted for by atoms. Also, straightforwardly, you know that you're given a mass of calcium carbonate, which is equal to 25.0 grams of calcium carbonate. And it should be noted that within, that grams is a unit of mass, and within calcium carbonate, one mole of calcium carbonate possesses three moles of atoms of oxygen, all right? That's what we call an equivalent unit of measurement. One mole of calcium carbonate has three moles of oxygen. And when you think about this and consider your solution, let's kind of drop down to the solution and think about the pieces to this problem that we're going to need to know to solve it. At issue is, you're going to have to go from grams of calcium carbonate to atoms of oxygen. But you can't make that conversion directly. We have a saying in chemistry that all roads must go down the mole road. So before you can get to atoms, you have to convert grams of calcium carbonate to moles of calcium carbonate. And since this is an ionically bonded substance, you're going to be looking for the gram formula mass of calcium carbonate. Because just as in previous problems, to go from grams to moles or moles to grams, you need to know a molar mass. And technically, given that calcium carbonate is an ionically bonded substance, we are going to be looking for the gram formula mass. Before you can calculate the gram formula mass, you need to recognize that one mole of calcium carbonate formula units contains one mole of calcium. And one mole of calcium off the periodic table has a mass of 40.078 grams of calcium per mole of calcium. Calcium carbonate also has one mole of carbon atoms, which have a mass of 12.011 grams of carbon per mole of carbon. Calcium carbonate also has three moles of oxygen atoms, so you need to know the gram atomic mass for oxygen which is 15.9994 grams of oxygen per mole of oxygen. So in order to calculate the gram formula mass of calcium carbonate, which will allow you to go from grams of calcium carbonate to moles of calcium carbonate, you need to know the gram atomic masses for calcium, carbon, and oxygen. You still can't go to atoms of oxygen directly. You need to recognize that there are three moles of atoms of oxygen and one mole of 
calcium carbonate. That conversion factor allows you to get to moles of atoms of oxygen. And once you get to moles of atoms of oxygen, you need to count how many atoms of oxygen are in a mole. And to do that, we employ a very special relationship known as Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number will allow us to get to atoms of oxygen and 25 grams of calcium carbonate. And we say that Avogadro's number draws a relationship between one mole of atoms of oxygen, which contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen. That's true of any substance. One mole of anything has a mass, excuse me, has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of that thing. That's known as Avogadro's number. So in reality, you have three conversions from grams to moles, of calcium carbonate to moles of calcium carbonate to moles of oxygen atoms and then to atoms of oxygen. Well, let's get after this and the first calculation you're going to have to do involves calculating the gram formula mass for calcium carbonate. You'll get fairly adept at doing this and this should become a matter of routine. That's why we're placing it in the known section. So I'm going to ask you to calculate the gram formula mass for calcium carbonate, which is going to be calculated in grams of calcium carbonate. To do that, you need to recognize that there's one mole of calcium in calcium and one mole of calcium carbonate formula units and that each mole of calcium has a mass of 40.078 grams of calcium. Moles of calcium cancel out and we're left with grams. One mole of calcium carbonate also has one mole of carbon atoms. And one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12.011 grams of carbon. Again, moles cancel out and we're left with grams of carbon. And finally, one mole of calcium carbonate has three moles of oxygen. And we know that each mole of oxygen has a mass of 15.9994 grams of oxygen. Moles of oxygen cancel, which leaves us grams. So we need to sum the products of each of these expressions. The first expression is going to be 40.078 grams of calcium. The product of the second expression is going to be 12.011 grams of carbon. And the product of the third expression is going to be 47.9982 grams of oxygen. When you sum those three together, you come up with a value of 100.0872 grams of calcium carbonate. Given that the first two numbers contain three decimals each, we're going to limit our answer to three decimal places to follow in line with rules for addition and subtraction of significant figures which require you to keep track of decimal places. The answer should have no more decimal places than the measurements with the least. These aren't actually measurements, they're constants, but we're going to stay consistent with that philosophy. Secondly, you're going to be asked to calculate
the atoms of oxygen. Pardon my little indiscretion there, but I'm just going to keep going in the interest of time. So we're going to use the unknown section and rewrite it in the solution. So we're going to write atoms of oxygen, which equals some value in atoms of oxygen, recording atoms and atoms. We start with whatever measurement we've been given, which in this case, we've been given 25.0 grams of calcium carbonate. And we're going to convert grams to moles using gram formula mass. And we want to get rid of grams and convert that to moles. So we take advantage of the gram formula mass to say one mole of calcium carbonate has a mass of 100.087 grams of calcium carbonate. Grams of calcium carbonate are going to cancel now we're at moles of calcium carbonate, but we need to get to moles of atoms of oxygen. So we know using this equivalent that there are three moles of atoms of oxygen in each mole of calcium carbonate. Moles of calcium carbonate cancel, and you're left with moles of oxygen atom. We've got one last conversion in which we have to go from moles of oxygen atom to actually particles or atoms of oxygen. So we want to eliminate moles. So we're going to put atoms of oxygen on the bottom so it cancels or in the denominator and recognize that one mole of atoms of oxygen contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen. And in essence, we're going to take the product of the numerators and divide the product of the numerators by the product of the denominators. And when you do that, you get an answer of 4.511 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen. Since your initial measurement has simply three sig figs, we're gonna draw an arrow until we get from the Pacific side, since the decimal point is present, until you get to the first non-zero digit, which is a two, the two five, and the zero are significant. So this answer should have three significant figures. So we're gonna drop the one and our final answer should be 4.51 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen. And if we can box that out without obscuring other information, that would be a beautiful thing. You may note that in calculating this, that we had to make three conversions from grams to moles of calcium carbonate to moles of oxygen atom and then atoms of oxygen. And this is how you convert grams to atoms, which is the beauty of dimensional analysis, which allows you to take a relatively straightforward complex problem and break it down with several unit conversions and simplify it.